Hello my crafty friend, it is Trinae here and today is all about the dies and the die cuts. Now I know some of you guys watch the videos and be like, girl you be doing good with them stamps but I'm not into those stamps. I don't know how to stamp. My stamps don't come out right. I don't want a color. I need something quick, quick, fast, fast, in a hurry, hurry. Today is all about quick, fast, hurry, but still pretty. Sorry for that tapping and scraping. Chloe will not sit down. She's making all that kind of noise on my floor. Sometimes I had to give her the stank eye, y'all. But she she likes to be in here when I craft. And I like her being in here, too. We, we cool like that. All right, you guys. So here's what I'm using today. So I have this die cut in this one from the Felicity Jane Brook Collection. That's how it came. As you can see right here. So no need to stamp or color anything today. I'm probably go in and pull that banner out. I don't know. I might get, grab some more things from there. So I have it sitting off to the side, but I know these are the pieces I am definitely going to use. As for dies, I have this big die. It is from the Mama Elephant Tag A Lot or either Tag Alone. Not 100% sure, but I have this. And then I have this scalloped edge. Um, this is from Lawn Fun. And then I have this Polaroid. And I believe this is a Mama Elephant die as well. Not sure. But I'll have everything linked in the description below. Alright, so for papers, boop boop, I am using the Felicity Jane um papers this is one of those cards that come in the kit and this is one of the 12 by 12s as you can see it has little raindrops raindrops keep falling on my head and that's kind of like what this layout is all about just you know embracing what comes out the rain that's what i'm used this for so i am going to die cut this paper with the big one and i am going to die cut this card using this one all right so let's get to die cutting so for the actual tag all i'm doing is die cutting it um using that teardrop paper and running it through my big kick uh nothing new there and then after i have that shape i want to add the scalloped edge on the bottom so i take my ruler so that i can get a straight line and i'm using a t-scrap ruler which is amaze balls i love it if you don't have one of these in your supply get one and um, I just line up my lines so I can get everything in place then I run it through again to have that scallop border which to me adds a little something something and for the frame all I do is take that card and I just run it through um, it's nothing you know new with that it's just a it's just a journaling card in a frame but one thing I did do that's not on film was I die cut um, some chipboard out of this frame die and y'all let me tell you it was so difficult to get that thing to go through I actually had to put my big kit on the floor so that's why I don't have um, footage of it all right so now we are ready to do our uh, frame part of our tag um, now I cut mine out of chipboard just because I wanted to give it some easy dimension or what I thought would be easy dimension um, Usually I use fun foam, but I was out of white fun foam and um, I had like this bright purple and I was like, hey, it's no, it's not going to be a way to cover that up. So I was like, I'll use chipboard and then I can add like gold, uh, like foil or something on the edge, a gold um, ink on the edge. So I'm going to try that out and see how I like it. But this is going to be a shaker and then I'm going to, you know, just attach this on here. But first, I want to add the gold and I am using this Brilliant uh, Galaxy Gold ink. You can also use paint if that's what you have. Really anything that will just, I just don't want it to look brown. You can leave it brown if, you know, if you're following along with this tutorial. Can leave it brown if you want and as you can see it gives it like a little gold edge 
and because it was a little subtle to me I wanted to make it pop a little bit so of course I had to go extra and be extra I added some uh gold embossing powder and I embossed the edge of it and it was kind of hard to pick it up on camera but it gives it texture as well and I really love the way it came out so all I did was I put that gold on there and then I sprinkled on some gold embossing powder and then I embossed it and I mean you guys it gives it almost like a leathery like texture to it it's really nice I wish I could have you know really captured it on um camera to show it but you know sometimes you just can't get the good angles <laughs> this was one of those times all right so for those extra little pieces of glitter stuff I just use a dryer sheet and kind of brush them out the way and the upside is your craft mat is going to smell so good. <laughs> All right, so let's keep working. So I am grabbing that uh, acetate and I am going to use that as my shaker window. Yeah, the window part. And um, of course, I'm using score tape because I love score tape. And all I'm doing is using the eighth inch score tape, which fits perfectly for this frame. And I'm just going around the perimeter of it and adding it so that it will be nice and secure. And score tape is heavy duty, so you don't have to worry about it. And then I go over like the thinner score tape with a, um, I think this is half inch just for that bottom part um, because I wanted the whole thing to be covered next step I am going to remove um, those backer pieces of paper off the tape and then just drop it a little bit and then add it to my S tape piece um, so I can create that frame and then I cut it out and when cutting it out I am going to use my exacto knife and I'm doing this on a glass cutting mat um, if you are recreating a project like this, keep in mind that uh, acetate is slippery, so be careful. You don't want to lose a finger and do um, passes that are, you know, um, firm but not like digging in. Do multiple passes so you'll get a clean cut. I'm going to leave this sheet on here for now because it's going to protect my um, acetate piece from getting all dirty. So I'm leaving that on, and now I'm going to grab the shaker bits. And I'm grabbing a couple of different ones that I'm going to mix in. So I have some clear beads, and I love the beads. I have like some sequins that are um, transparent, and then I have like these with like purples and stars. So I'm going to use a little bit of all of those. But first, I'm going to go ahead and add the score tape on this side because you don't want to put your beads on and then add your score tape because it's a guaranteed way to have stuff fly everywhere. Ask me how I know. Ask me because I did it. Um, it's so much easier to go ahead and put all your tape on. And that way, when you're removing the backer pieces, you don't have to worry about stuff popping up and you know, doing everything. So you guys know how I do it. I just mix it up freehand, like I'm freestyling to the beads, freestyling to the beads, add the sequence in the seeds. Um, not really any seeds, but I couldn't think of anything else to rhyme. <laughs> and now you know why my career as a rapper didn't take off. Side note, in eighth grade, you guys, I caught myself, I was gonna be a rapper. I, I don't, you know, I, I look back and it's kind of, it's kind of lame because I, I never was, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of lame, <laughs> but in, but for eighth to 10th grade, I called myself, um, going to rap, um, and let's, let's just be glad that I might would have came out with a one hit wonder and that would have been it, <laughs> but let's get back to the project now that I'm sharing weird stuff. <laughs> All right, so now we have our shaker piece all cut out. Listen to the sound of that shake, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we getting it shaking. <laughs> all right, now one thing that's, that is important is, as you can see, I have all kind of crap on my craft mat. So 
I want to use something that is kind of like lint free or as lint free as I can, you know, get it. So I'm going to get another one of these coffee filters and I'm going to work on there. It'll keep the paper that I'm using from getting too dirty. All right, so I'm going to slide this off. And this is going to go right on top of here. Boom. All we need to do is run this through and get some tape on it. And I use score tape to add that frame on. I wonder how many times have I said score tape in this video. A lot. <laughs> Ta-da! How cute. Cute, cute, cute. And there go our shaker frame. Now I still have that uh, protective paper on the back because I don't want it to get like super dirty. All right, so we are ready to put everything together. Um, so I'm take my shaker and I'll move that back piece and add some more score tape. Score tape needs to be the sponsor of the day. <laughs> <laughs> because I have used a good bit of it. <laughs> I'm not doing that. You guys, sometimes I be doing too much. <laughs> so I just cut it, just break it, get it off. All right. What I love about score tape though is that it's um it's really good duty. Like it's it's like a really heavy duty tape. So you don't have to worry about your projects falling apart. I've even gotten to the point where I use score tape on like some of my cards that are, you know, just as I put a little bit down just for um you know added security. Because since I use just for the most part, I use like tape runners. If you live somewhere where the humidity and the temperature can be weird, like I do, I'm in Georgia, um, and you know, we have high humidity. Sometimes we have like, like yesterday for instance, it was cold in the morning. It felt like springtime for like two hours. It felt like summer in the middle of the day. And then at the nighttime it was back cold. So <laughs> it's like, come on. <laughs> Yesterday, my heat and my air came on. <laughs> it was like, like for real. What, what, what do you want us to do today? That's what my, um, that's what my air unit was like. What do you, what do you need from me? <laughs> Cause I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna lay this on here as straight as I possibly can, and I'm kind of looking over to this side, and I can move this. I'm looking um, at how many hearts, I mean how many hearts, how many uh, droplets I have over there. So it's kind of like you can see like the row of three, so one, two, three, which is good. And then you can see like a row of three here. So I'm going to go ahead and place that down. And I'm not going to just, I'm just, I just placed it. Because at this point, if I need to move it, I can. Um, so that's always a good idea not to press down until you are absolutely sure you have it where you want it. Um, and then I'm going to come in with my die piece here. And I know I want this here. I kind of like the, I like the overhang of it just a little bit. So nothing is really like set in place at this point. I want more of that shaker to be seen. So I'm gonna let that kind of hang off the edge over there. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going with. I kind of like it and what I look for whenever I'm laying things out is kind of like how is the eye moving um, if you have like difficulties like finding placement for stuff I always look for movement 
So, like, I like to see, like, a clean line or not, like, just straight line, but see how, like, a line of how things move throughout my project. So, like, I can see this going into this all the way down to here, and that means it has flow from the top to the bottom. And then, you know, it flows this way as well. So, I'm thinking I'm going to leave this right here. I kind of like it. Um, I like it with her being up a little bit more so than down, so... That's where we're gonna go with it. And so all I do is add more, you name it, score tape! <laughs> and put all my pieces in place. Um, I'm the type of crafter where I kinda like to lay my stuff out, as you saw. I lay my stuff out and then I tape it down. And for this um, die cut, I had to use score tape and foam tape so that the side that wasn't on the frame wouldn't get pressed down. And the cool thing is um, the foam tape is pretty much about the same thickness as that chipboard. So everything worked out fine. And there's our little shaker tag. How easy was this project? And if you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and recommend this video to your crafty friends because they want to see. Now, as you can see, it's a little sneak peek because there are some embellishments that I'm going to show you how to make using the scrap papers from this project. So definitely be sure to come back so you can check out that video and I will see you guys in the next one, hon.